Hey guys, it's SF and Wenjong is up the second new monster from the current event series. And my team is going to be Izanami, Sada, and Arthur. And if you guys have been following me, I finally maxed out the Izanami after a long time. Not long, like three, four months. And then my friend's going to be a Agnum X. So you want no Gravity Barrier monsters and bounce, preferably fire. But it's not that big of a problem if it's not. But this stage is all about pinching, basically. So the two dragons will revive each other, and only each other, and they will recover HP for the enemies. So you want to kill them off in one shot. If you don't clear them, uh, clear them really fast, then they'll shoot out mines, which is kind of annoying. But if you can get, if you can clear them, then in time, then it should be okay. Like the bottom left for them is the mines. Okay. Next stage. Turtles. Just gonna quickly kill them. Okay. Now the real stage two. Stage two, pretty much the same. Pinch the dragons and then mob clear. If I can. <laughs> the top right counter, the top right counter is their movement counter, so in three turns they'll start moving. Moving to another direction, so you want to kill them before that as well. Let's come on. Up oh, the top, the bottom dragon's gonna move. And now they're not in sync. Thankfully, these guys are relatively squishy, so pump combos can take them down very, very easily. Almost. Okay, one more turn for the mines. I killed the guy with the mines coming up, and Arthur's laser is OP. And if you get Arthur's laser onto both dragons, then they probably can kill it. She can probably kill it without even pinching. Okay. Stage number four. Just gotta clear out the dragons. Good. Although Izanami's in a really, really bad spot. And dragons will always recover the mini boss first. No matter what you do. So you wanna clear off the dragons. And next turn, I have to pinch here. If I can. Nope, I missed completely. And if you don't pinch them, then they're gonna move away. They're moving away. Okay, next is mine, so Ognamut's okay because she's a mine sweeper. But either way, still got him. The weak spot is fixed. It's always there, it won't move, so you'll always get a good weak spot attack. And then now it's just clearing off the mini boss. Okay. Next. Mini boss number two. And the top and then the right dragon will move to the left. So Arthur's in the worst spot ever. Um let's try to clear off somebody at least. But Arthur's in a really bad spot. So I'm gonna keep the dragons there and then just try to clear off the obstructors. You, the obstructors will shoot a volatile blast. It's not a one hit kill, but it's not one hit kill, but it's relatively big and you still take some damage. And then Izanami can uh, pinch on the top, that's why I left left the dragons and didn't try pinching. There we go. And now it's just cutting off the mini boss. Come on. Oh. There we go. This is a good place to practice pinching in my opinion. 
Okay, boss time, 14 turns, and it is only two bars. Two bars. And the next one is Agna Moots. I, I can clear it like this. It's not that bad because left is going to go right. And my time to try to pinch. And I fail completely. Arthur has a nice shot, so that's good. I want to clear off the bottom. Actually, they're going to be not in sync, so that's not good. They're not going to be in sync, which is really bad. And mine's going to come. Okay, mines on top. The mines are relatively strong. But I do have a heart, so I'm going to leave that be. Because killing off the dragon is the most important part. And let's clear off the obstructor. The mini boss, the boss on this stage, doesn't have that much HP. It only has like 1 million. So technically, if you get a good pinch, uh, a good attack on the weak spot, then you probably can kill it without even killing off the dragons. But better safe than sorry. Okay, next is number two, last stage, and the top dragon will move on to the bottom for the first time around, so I'm just going to randomly attack because I'm going to move to the good spot. I'm going to move to the good spot. Worst case scenario, I just use these enemy strike shot to... Uh, clear off the dragons and that's probably what I'm gonna do if I can do it <laughs> I'm gonna leave the top one because the bomb comes can probably kill off the top one it's the bottom one that needs attention boom good and then last but not least Sanda and she has a sword right now so give me that weak spot mm, not the best but we'll be okay we'll be good enough Probably not good enough. <laughs> One more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, let's just do it. Strike shot! And that's it. Um, people think it's easy. Um, I'm kind of indifferent because it's a hit or miss, I think. Some people might be really, really good at it. Some people might not be. If you're good at pinching, if you're good at like Yamato Takeru, good at um, Avalon, good at Ninai Kanai, then this is a perfect dungeon for you, but for some it's not, so it's a hit or miss. But for Wen himself, he's a good no gravity barrier monster in the ascended form and his sub bump combo is the new hotness, the same bump combo from the ascended, the Tanyan, the piercing as fresh hot shots so that's good but either way a very good max luck good stats all around no gravity barrier and ethion slayer and just good for just another good monster to max luck and i hope you guys like and subscribe and see you guys next time bye